What's going on, people? My motive and intention was to make a video regarding baptism because there's a lot of people that seem to be confused about baptism. And you find people that are constantly going back and forth to the church being baptized one, two, three, four, five times. And it's not necessary. But I'll do that video later and I'll post it on uh, my Bible study channel, which I will put in the link in the description box on the bottom. And I encourage you to go subscribe. I came across this article that I felt I had to talk about. The title of this article is Louisiana teacher pleads guilty to lacing students' cupcake with ex husband sperm and other child sex crimes. And then it says Cynthia Perkins is due back in court for sentencing on Friday. Now, why is this important? Since I've been a child, I've always been funny about eating other people's cooking. If it wasn't my mother's cooking, if it wasn't my sister's or a family member I trust, if it didn't look right to me, if they didn't look right, I didn't touch it. I was polite, no thank you, but I did not and I refused to eat other people's cooking, especially in school. And parents need to start training their children up to not take any and everything that strangers offer them, even in school. Because they have these little parties like Valentine's Day or Thanksgiving or Christmas or Halloween. And then you have parents or the PTA group that would get together and make cupcakes and pastries and cookies for the kids and they bring them in and these kids don't know and they just start chomping them down, eating them, not knowing what someone might have done to them. So as a child, I've always had an issue eating pastries or cakes made by someone else's parents. I was stubborn. I was in my own way a rebellious child to a certain degree. So I've always been funny about eating other people's food, eating out of everybody's kitchen, eating out of everyone's hand. I just didn't do it. Even when I met young women and they wanted to cook for me, um, I was very funny about who I allowed to cook for me. Because I grew up in a house with a bunch of sisters and I had no choice but to learn how to cook for myself. So I'm not too quick to eat at everybody's table. But I'm going to read this article for you because I think this is important, especially in today's time that we're living in. It says a disgraced Louisiana teacher has pleaded guilty to horrific crimes against children and admitted to serving her students cupcakes that contained sperm from her ex-husband, who is awaiting his own trial on child sex crime charges, according to authorities. Cynthia Perkins, 36, agreed to plead guilty and testify against her ex-44-year-old former Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office SWAT member Dennis Perkins, who was also charged with dozens of child sex crimes, according to prosecutors. She has not waived, she has not only waived any rights to appeal and attempt to avoid conviction, but she also spared the victims from relieving her horrific crimes during this particular trial. Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry said Monday, today's conviction is in the best interest of our victims and justice. 
Now, as you see from her, her photos, and you're going to see the images of her husband as well. See, these devils are over the minds of our children. Parents send their kids to school every day in the hands of the beast. Because of the fact that they are teachers, people put too much trust in human beings. So you send your kids to school. Your children, because of the fact that many parents are lazy or may not even have the money or the funds, they send your kids to school for these free lunches that you may have some parents or PTA members may decide to bake pastries or cakes or cookies and they send them to your kids and they're feeding your kids with sperm, blood, and other substance. Filthy substance and the parents have no idea what their children are consuming. I remember when my son was in elementary school, I used to go to the school every now and again to have lunch with him. And I would bring him lunch. And we would sit there and we would eat lunch in the cafeteria. And I remember one day the teacher told me, um, because the other kids didn't have, for example, McDonald's, that she would appreciate it if I did not bring my son food to eat because the other kids don't have it. Well, my response was, I have nothing to do with those other kids. You know, you have to talk to those other kids' parents and hopefully they will come and have lunch with their kids and bring them McDonald's, okay? But this is what I want my son to have. This is what we're eating together and so be it, right? Right? But I used to, you know, come bring my son lunch and we would sit there and we would eat it together. And the other kids, they would eat the lunch, the school lunch. You know, I ate school lunches when I was small. And, but we didn't have, to our knowledge, a lot of what's going on today. See, you just can't send your kids to school expecting other people to feed them. You know, by the brown paper bags and fix your kids some lunch, you know, have them take it with them, you know, but we're living in times now where you have, even in the police department, you have perverts that's like this. You have husband and wife couples that's working together doing madness like this. Who in their right mind would make cupcakes for kids that's laced with semen? These kids are eating it, thinking it's frosting with sugar in it, and it's something else. And you wonder why your kids, their spirit is not right. Because they're receiving the wrong energy or frequency in school. It says Cynthia Perkins was a junior high English teacher until she resigned after police raided the couple's home, the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office immediately fired Dennis Perkins. He was a sheriff. The husband was a sheriff who had been a special operations lieutenant. Investigators said they received a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children about the Denham Springs couple. In 2019, police seized photographs of the couple posing nude with a child, as well as other evidence while serving a search warrant in October of that year. The court documents reported by WBRZ in May revealed that police also found pictures of Perkins students eating the semen laced cupcakes and that the couple allegedly raped a child between the ages of 9 and 10. Investigators allegedly found
found hidden cameras in their attic. It's not alleged. If you if you found them, it's not alleged. In their attic and bathroom, and said they uncovered more pictures on an iPhone. Now, that's another thing too. Be careful whose bathroom you use. Even public restrooms. I personally have a habit of looking around me. That's just how I am. You know, I'm very aware of my surroundings. Like, you may walk into a bathroom that's got a little plant that's sitting there. Or something that seems out of the way. You know, I tend to investigate those things. Because you have no idea what's in the mind of a sick, perverted person. It said the couple had initially been charged with 60 counts of production of child porn, rape, and other crimes. Prosecutors also accused Dennis Perkins of obscenity, video, voyeurism, and possessing child porn. Livingston Sheriff, Livingston Sheriff Jason Ard said at the time that although Perkins had been a longtime officer who he considered a friend, no one is above the law. This type of alleged behavior is not alleged if they have facts. This type of alleged behavior will not be tolerated by me or anyone at the LPSO, he said. And then finally, Cynthia Perkins pleaded guilty to second degree rape producing child porn and conspiracy mingling of harmful substance Monday, according to Laundrie's office. She's due back in court Friday for sentencing. So they fed these kids cupcake laced with semen. And then you have the parents that will kiss their child and you don't know what type of sexually transmitted disease that's in that semen. So parents, be careful what you allow your child to eat. I'm very funny when it comes to food. I don't eat just anyone's cooking. And even when going to uh, restaurants, you know, fast food restaurants, I don't eat too much fast food. Um, I may eat at select places and I'll watch what they do in the back. If I can't see them, I don't eat that food, right? Because you have some very nasty people that's preparing food. And people, because it's McDonald's, because it's Burger King, because it's wherever, people just feel too comfortable going to sit down and eat just because of the name brand. So... Be careful what you allow your child to eat nowadays because there's some very, very, very evil spirits in the world. And see, this was a sheriff and this was a teacher. So, feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Until next time, I'm fearless.